Meteorologist Steve Nelson with a weekly weather briefing for the week of August 15th through the 22nd. Here are the main highlights for the week. Hot and possibly stormy conditions are expected this weekend with heat indices ranging from 98 to 102, maybe a little bit higher in spots possible Friday through Sunday. Slightly drier and cooler conditions are expected on Monday as the front moves through and tropical development is not expected over the next seven days. Here's a quick look at the latest satellite and radar imagery. If you look carefully over Georgia, you'll see clouds moving from east to west as easterly flow coming in from the Atlantic is bringing uh, just some light clouds and cumulus clouds the area, maybe an isolated shower or two across northwest Georgia, more substantial storms you can see there in Florida. We're generally expecting not a lot of rainfall the next 24 hours. So jumping ahead into the forecast for starting on Friday, there's a cold front you can see over the Midwest states, Illinois, Missouri, that's uh, expected to move towards the region this weekend, which could trigger a complex of thunderstorms on Friday and maybe another round or two into the weekend. High temperatures on Friday will be about average with some pretty warm conditions, uh, temperatures reaching the middle 90s in northwest and west central Georgia. Those chances of rain that I mentioned are increasing across the northwest with uh, percentages over 40% possible. Here is a look at the a little bit more in depth into the chances of thunderstorms, possibly uh, strong storms on Friday afternoon. This is a simulation from our HER model HRRR. And if it's just one forecast, we don't want to rely on this for exact timing or exact location of storms. But if you watch this loop again, you can see uh, that front that's triggering thunderstorms uh, over the area today, late this afternoon and overnight. And overnight is that uh, complex moves through central Tennessee into northwest Georgia, there could be some strong storms anytime during that period in the afternoon Friday and into the evening. Here's the Storm Prediction Center severe weather outlook for these days on Friday and Saturday where you can see in the last few days we really haven't been under any risk of maybe a general thunderstorm but Friday expect and Saturday we're now expecting a level one risk which is one out of five, a marginal risk for possibly severe storms uh, over northwest Georgia on Friday more so, and then all, almost all of north and central Georgia on Saturday. Any of these storms, or main threat would be damaging winds. We could see some small hail, small hail, very heavy rainfall, and of course lightning. In addition to the threat for strong storms this weekend, we could also see some excessive heat. Above normal temperatures are expected, and pay close attention to the Heat index forecast there on the right, we see some values of 98 to 102 and possibly higher values than that in local areas. When you get to heat index values at that, we may not have an advisory out, but you still want to uh, ensure you're taking precautions if you're planning outdoor activities, drink extra water, or appropriate clothing. Fortunately, cooler and drier conditions are expected starting on Monday. We'll look forward to that. And again, another way to look at the chances of excessive heat this is not the probability of a, a heat advisory. We've lowered the threshold here to a, a heat index value of 100. So the areas here in the, the warmer colors, the oranges and the yellows, this is where we're expecting higher than normal chances of very extreme heat. On the left is the image valid Saturday afternoon and the following one on the right is Sunday. These appear to be the two warmest days of the next seven days. So anywhere in general, especially in middle Georgia, let's just take precautions and be prepared for heat index values over 100. As far as heavy rainfall and, and chances of heavy rainfall, it doesn't look too bad. Some brief heavy rain is possible with these storms that we talked about Friday through Sunday. Like I said earlier, uh, drier conditions starting Monday, maybe some isolated storms popping back into the forecast at that point. But the best chances of rain are going to be on that Saturday time frame, which is the uh, map in the upper left. The images in the middle are showing uh, where excessive rainfall could produce some minor flooding or localized flooding. That's starting to creep back into the forecast as well for North Georgia on Friday. And uh, on Saturday, that is valid for pretty much all of North and Central Georgia. Here's another way to look at the seven day forecast rainfall. Uh, over the seven day period ending next Thursday, the odds are that most areas are not gonna see significant rainfall. That's based on our latest information from our forecast models and the observations taken across the globe. Uh, if you look at the map on the right, you're seeing a probability of anywhere in that uh, seven day period seeing a total amount of an inch or more. You're only seeing the higher probabilities there in Northern Georgia. So that's about a 30 to 40% chance of seeing more than an inch over the next seven days, less than a 20% chance elsewhere pretty much. 
over the rest of the area. Uh, doesn't mean all areas you're definitely not getting more than an inch, but it just seems like at this point uh, we're going to be on the dry side for the next seven days as opposed to a really widespread rainfall event. Here's the latest tropical outlook from the National Hurricane Center. Over the next seven days, fortunately, we're not expecting any additional tropical cyclone formation, which is good news. It is still expected to be a very active hurricane season, but we're, we're good, it looks like, for the next seven days. You do see Ernesto on the map here. I don't have the direction or track indicated on this particular graphic, but it is expected to continue more moving north and northeast over the next several days, possibly impacting uh, the island of Bermuda, the nation of Bermuda. So if you know people in that area, just keep them abreast, have them follow the latest information from the Hurricane Center and local officials. The latest drought conditions also show an improvement over the last two weeks. It's actually improved significantly. This image is what we showed on July 30th a couple weeks ago. And if you see what the current conditions are, you've seen quite a bit of decrease in the coverage of drought. Uh, the yellow areas show a D0 or normally dry conditions are mainly over North Georgia and parts of West Central Georgia, and just a small part of Northwest Georgia is still in moderate drought. This is a big improvement, so if we keep the rain coming, we'll be in good shape for the fall season coming up. And finally, the extended outlook, which is valid uh, for the week of August 22nd through the 28th, the 8 to 14 Day temperature outlook is showing near normal to above normal temperatures across the region. Cooler conditions expected in the Midwest and above normal conditions much above normal over the desert southwest. Rainfall should be near normal to above normal over the east. We got a lot of rainfall from Debbie earlier. Uh, that, that moisture can actually linger into the soil and evaporate and cause a little bit enhanced rainfall. Just the pattern as well that's expected during this time frame. We could see a little bit of above normal precipitation. All right, to summarize things again, for the next seven days, hot and possibly stormy conditions are expected this weekend. Main threats with any storms will be strong winds, uh, some small hail, lightning, and localized heavy rain. Heat into seas of 98 to 102 are possible, possibly a little bit higher Friday through Sunday. Slightly drier and cooler conditions are expected on Monday, and tropical development is not expected in the next seven days. This concludes our briefing for the week. Hope you have a great one. Let us know if you need anything. Take care.